Hey guys, in this MKBHD video, we'll be taking a look at the Editor's Keys SL150 Studio USB microphone. The microphone you're looking at here is actually on a stand, the Samson MD5, which I unboxed earlier on this channel. But what you're looking at here is a microphone that I record all my videos with, both screencasts and hardware videos when I do voiceovers, including this video here. The form factor of this microphone, as with most other USB microphones, is pretty compact, so you're actually going to be able to go portable with this. In fact, it does come with a leather carrying case, which I haven't actually found the need to use yet, but just in case you go portable with your mics, you have that option. Now keep in mind that there are some other USB studio quality microphones, unlike the SL150, that are really big and weigh a lot, and they actually come with their own stand, for example the Blue Yeti. This is something you won't be going mobile with a lot, but the SL150 is very durable and very, very usable for anyone who likes to bring their mic around. Also worth noting is the construction of the microphone itself, and from top to bottom, it seems to be made of a nice light aluminum, some sort of metal at the top, but as you get down to the body, it's actually made of a rigid hard plastic. So keep in mind that you're actually going to want to use the case if you're going portable. Don't just throw it in your backpack, actually use the case. But when it's sitting on your desk just for recording, it's a really high quality microphone, and you're probably not going to notice what it's made of anyway. As a matter of fact, when I sit this microphone on my desk to do audio recordings like I am doing right now, I actually just plop it right in the stand and adjust it to the height and just plug and play. It's that simple, this microphone requires no drivers, it's just USB 2.0, plug it into your computer, uh, comes with a really long USB cable, and that's really it. So it's a really simple mic if you've never used a high level microphone before, this is definitely a good intro level microphone. Now I can't talk about this microphone without reviewing its quality, and I gotta say it's the highest quality USB studio microphone on the market for under $150 in the United States. Behind this mesh is a gold diaphragm condenser of 22 millimeters with a frequency response pickup of 20 to 18,000 kilohertz. That's way more than the human vocals. And it's a hypercardioid pattern microphone, so that's really all you're going to be picking up is that one voice. So this is perfect for your home or studio podcasting. Now, if you're still not convinced that the audio quality of this microphone without listening to me speak to you through it, you can check out my audio test of the microphone that I recorded not too long ago versus a gooseneck voice over IP mic, which was also a pretty high-end microphone. And you'll see the difference, or you'll hear the difference. Overall, if I didn't make it clear earlier, this microphone and stand combination with the Samson MD5 really makes it easy to just pull the mic over to the front of the desk and start recording a video. Uh, it really is adds to the convenience factor as it doesn't come with this stand. So to wrap it all up, I've got some pros and cons for the microphone. Some pros are that it has great audio quality for the price, has pretty solid build construction, looks really good, it even glows when it's plugged in, and it's a plug and play mic with a really long USB cord, easy to set up. The things I didn't like about it were that it didn't come with a stand, and also that it didn't come with any sort of pop filter, which I actually do utilize to record with this mic. With that set of pros and cons, I can give this microphone a rating of 8.5 out of 10. I think Editor's Keys can do a lot better in a couple of certain areas about this mic, but overall it's a very, very good value recording studio microphone. I'm also looking forward to possibly reviewing the Editor's Keys SL600 in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching this MKBHD review video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.